paper bowl. What is a hyper bowl? Mm. Oh, wow, it's hot in there. My name's Ronnie. And this is a funny story, as they all are, is when I first started doing things, I saw this word as a hyperbole. And I thought, wow, hyperbole, that's a weird word. But it's actually hyperbole. Huh? And it's the first time ever that I've looked at this English word and gone, wow, we've actually pronounced the, uh, the L and the E together. So this is a hyper <laughs> bowl. It's not. <laughs> this is a hyperbole. What is a hyperbole? A hyperbole is basically acting like a drama queen, as I was doing in the video. If you want to exaggerate something, exaggerating statements, these are not literal statements, they're exaggerating, they're for all the drama queens out there. If you want to improve your vocabulary, mm -hmm, then hyperboles are a great way to do this. And the only problem is they're not formal language, it's very slang, very street, very today. So you have to understand that it's not literal. So I wouldn't write these in scientific essays or <laughs> experiments or PhD dissertations. So let's go. They can be describing many things. For example, time. Oh man, this is taking forever. But it's not though, because forever is just like eternity. So it's, if you want to say something's taking a long time, we exaggerate it and we say, this is taking forever. Oh, God. Ages. It's taking ages for me to get the document from the government. You're just saying it's taking me a long time. And like most things, if it's important, it can take a lifetime. Again, not literal. A lifetime means a long time. Quality. Uh, this one's not really slang, but we use it a lot. Like, oh my God, my mom is the best mom ever. And we use words like the best or the worst. And to make them even stronger, we say ever. This is the worst food ever. I'm never eating again. But you are going to, because if you didn't eat again, you would die. So be careful. Massive. Size. We talk about the size of things. Classic. Classic. People go fishing and they catch a fish this big, but that's kind of boring. So you might hear some people talk about how things that they have are massive. People might say, I have a massive snake. Would you like to see it? Or things can be huge. Huge and massive are the same. They mean very big. The opposite of this is Somebody might say, oh, I have a massive snake. And then when you look at the snake, it's actually tiny. And you say, yeah, yeah, your snake is super tiny there, buddy. Mm -hmm, tiny snake. Um, food can be small. You say, oh, this pizza is tiny. Kind of means you weren't expecting it to be so small and very disappointed in your pizza. Um, this is probably the most used expressions that we have in nowadays English. Um, we always exaggerate how much pain we're showing or how much pain we have. Um, but we use it in kind of a fun way. We talk about being starving. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. I was starving yesterday. No, you weren't starving yesterday. You were just hungry. You, you do not have lack of food. You just didn't eat. Um, something kills you. Mm, okay. Oh my God. This is killing me. I don't believe it. So if something's killing you, it means it is putting you through a rough time. This is a super common expression we use. I was dying. She was so funny. 
Hold on. Somebody being funny kills you. Nah. See, it doesn't work literally. It's just the way they exaggerate how funny someone is. Oh my God. I almost died of embarrassment. That means I was so embarrassed that I almost died. You didn't almost die. You were just really embarrassed. So instead of saying like, I was really embarrassed, you have to say, oh my God. I almost died of embarrassment. I don't believe it. And this is the idea of a drama queen. A drama queen makes small things bigger. Mm. Distance. We can talk about how things are miles away or things take forever. Um, we can say, it takes forever for me to get home in traffic. So there's a lot of cars on the road. It's like, ah, oh, this is taking forever. It just means it's taking longer than you would expect. Um, it takes forever to get there. It takes such a long time. Quantity. A ton. A ton is a weight. And it's, I don't know, an elephant or two. I don't know how many tons an elephant weighs. But if something weighs a ton, it means you're saying it's very heavy. Like, oh, this bag weighs a ton. I'm like, no, nah, you are not strong enough to lift 10 pounds. I doubt that that's really a pound in there. But it's an expression we use to exaggerate how heavy something is. Um, this is a very common expression. Oh, wow, you've made enough food to feed an army. Okay, well, an army usually has thousands of people. And you've probably made a platter for five. But it's always a good thing to say because for some reason having a lot of food is a good thing and it's a compliment <gasps> wow you've made so much food you've made enough food to feed an army we don't need any more okay um you can also say i have a ton of work to do again it's not a measurement you're not measuring the work i've got five pounds of work three kilos of work it's just saying that i have so much work to do i can't hang out maybe an excuse oh, i have a ton of work to do i can't see you Oh. Okay, I have five pounds of work. We can do it together. No, it doesn't work. So other expressions we have, talking about food. Um, usually on holidays, we overeat and people say, oh my God, I'm so full, I'm going to explode. Well, no, you're not actually. I mean, that would be messy. You would get your guts on your grandma's couch. I don't think your grandma would appreciate that. So you have to be careful. You have to know that they're funny. You have to know when to use them. I'm so full, I'm going to die. There haven't been many people who have eaten themselves to death, but it could happen. I doubt it, though. You're just going to feel uncomfortable. Um, my mom always said this. Ronnie, I told you a hundred times, don't pick your nose. I counted. It was 42. And that was 43, Mom, so you're still not at 100. So we use this to exaggerate how many times we tell someone. We nag at them. I told you a hundred times not to do that. No, that was seven now. Um, this is a classic. Classic. So you go out drinking and you wake up the next day with a terrible hangover. And a hangover is something that you get the next day after drinking too much. You're dehydrated. And you promise, say, I'm never going to drink again, or I'm never going to drink again. Hey, guess what? That's a hyperbole. Of course you're going to drink again. You're going to have water. I know, and like next weekend, you're still going to have a beer or a delicious glass of wine. So you're lying. You're just lying. My leg is killing me. Did you know that my leg was a killer? My leg can come off and actually go, ah, and kill me. But it can't. We just, oh, you know, my leg's killing me. Or, oh, my head's, I have a headache. It's killing me. Just feeling a lot of pain, aren't you? It's not actually dying from it. And this is kind of creepy, too. This last one. My arm hurts so much. Okay, this, this arm hurts so much. I just want to cut it off. Well, do you know what? I don't think that's a good solution because if you actually amputate, which means cut off your arm, you're not going to have an arm. And I think that actually cutting your arm off would have more pain 
than whatever your ailment is now. So for all you drama queens out there, this lesson's for you. Improve your vocabulary with hyperboles or hyperboles if you'd like. I'm out of here for now. Gonna go uh, chop off my own tongue. <laughs>